Hello, this is the sixth video about surface nodes. In this piece of Flux video, I'll show you how to create a ROS procedural surface texture. This texture will be built by multiple levels of surface noise, each adding more detail and granularity, from large to small. In this project, I have a surface and a surface baked node. The size of the surface is 2048 by 2048. From the Mesh node menu, drag a surface noise node. Connected. Set the size to 24 and 32. This creates patches of sizes ranging from 24 to 32 pixels. Connect the surface output. Connect the image output. In the scene viewport settings, set shared box to albedo. This is the background texture, and it's composed of large patches. Set density to 1 to render all patches. In some areas, the patches are so large that they can't fit on the surface without distortion. To remove distorted patches, lower the accepted distortion until all these artifacts disappear. Set Combine to RGBA Over. This will create an RGBA color texture image. Set the background color. Set the opacity. Set shape to bump. Set plateau to 0 0.5. Set the shape color. Set the HSV variation. HSV variation modifies the color of each patch a random amount in the HSV color space. Add a new surface noise node. Set the size to between 12 and 24. This will be the medium size texture. Set combine to RGBA over. Leave the background color as black and opacity as zero. From the Compose Nodes menu, drag a mix node. Connect the two images. Set the shape type to bump. Set plateau to 0 0.5. Set the color. Set the HSV variation. Duplicate the shape. Set the color. Duplicate the shape again. Set the color. Drag a new surface noise node. Set the size to between 4 and 12. This is the small detail texture. Set combine type to RGBA over. Connect the image to a mixed node. Set the shape type to bump. Set plateau to 0.75. Set the color. Set the HSV variation. Set the strength high value to 0.5. Strength gives each patch a random opacity between its low and high value. Increase the density to 0 0.6. Duplicate the shape. Set the color. Use the Shift key and drag to duplicate the surface noise node. Set blending to 2. This reduces the blending area around the patches. Set distribution to 1. This changes the distribution of patches over the surface. Connect the image. Set density to 1. Drag a new surface noise node. Set the size to between 2 and 4. Set blending to 2. Set the combined mode to RGBA over. Connect the image. This is the extra small detail texture. Set the shape type to bump. Set plateau to 0.75. Set the color. Set the HSV variation. Set the strain high to 0 0.75. Set density to 1. Duplicate the shape. Set the color. Turn off the debug shader. Now let's add a few scratches to the surface. From the Mesh Nodes menu, drag a surface scratches node. Connected to the surface bake node. Set the type to curve. Set the length range to between 50 and 100. Set the number of scratches to 10,000. Set the strength range to between 0 0.5 and 1. From the Mesh Nodes menu, drag a surface filter node. Connect the image. Set filter to relax. Set iterations to 2. 
the scratches texture will be used to multiply the rust texture from the Compose Notes menu, drag a blend node Connect it to the mix output Connect the scratches as mask Set the blend mode to multiply Connect the blend output to a surface bake image input Set the foreground opacity to 1 Decrease the blend opacity Let's check all the texture layers Disable the blend node Disconnect the noise nodes Large noise Medium noise Small noise More small noise Extra small noise Scratches Connect it all again Enable the scratches This is the final rust texture The surface texture is completely procedural and it's continuous and seamless all across the 3D model Thank you for watching this Pixaflux video Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us in Discord, Twitter and Instagram